Good f God, that's bright. It, very citrusy. Very it, yes. It's bright in the nose. It is like a like a warm, bright summer once, day in Montreal. Once again, Canadia, you have taken good things and cranked them up to eleven. Six channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me and this guy. God damn Jehovah's Witnesses. Nice, nice uh, throwback to the, for the patrons there. If you are subscribed, <clears throat> you know the reference. If you are not, then you don't. I highly suggest you take a look up below. I, I guess, yeah, up above, up yeah. below. Check Down out, above, check out the whatever, page. whatever's reaching to yeah. you. Check out the Patreon page. Consider becoming a patron is what he's really saying. Link is uh, down below in the description, <laughs> right? Sure. Cool. Uh, anyway, I'm Josh. This is I'm Sean. Sean. And we're, we're celebrating the whiskeys that make music sound better as well. In the local Las <clears throat> Vegas music scene. Sure. Today, anyway. Yes. Tomorrow, who knows? The local Las Vegas music scene that someday will be back. <sighs> Hopefully, we get the scene back in the hands of the locals. Yes. What are we uh, enjoying today, sir? Nothing local. <laughs> not even, I'm glad we not got even through American. That. I'm glad we got through that introduction in one take because we are taking a very nice power walk up into the category and the country of Canada. We are doing Canadian whiskey, Legacy and Pendleton. They are, from what I hear, off-the-shelf brands, much like we have here in the States with our uh, Larcenies and our... Larceny. That's the one we did. Yes. Larceny, not Legacy. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I've i not heard the greatest things about either of these, but hopefully right. our uh, see their way out of the conversation to the A and B that is going on will suffice. We've got something else coming into view a little bit later that's not Canadian, but maybe it'll offer a palette that is a little more suitable. We'll see. We'll see how the Pendleton measures up. That's what we're starting with. Can I get your glass, dear old friend? Emphasis on old. Thanks, uh, chum. Emphasis on dear as much as uh, Bambi's mother was a doe. Don't a deer, a female deer. Nope, just a don't like taking the bullet to the brain. You're welcome. Goodbye, Disney. Goodbye, childhood. That, that hunter from Bambi, he's the only Disney villain that actually killed anybody. Fuck that guy. I'd give him a hug because everybody needs love. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck me sideways. That Pendleton Canada. is. Not crown oil, sugary brown bourbon, goodness, no. sweetness. It is angry and <laughs> it is kind of like welcome to Canada, smack. It is the angry. It is more angry than the Mountie. Cue the Mountie music. The entrance to the wrestler. You're welcome. I'm the Mountie. I'm handsome. I'm brave. I'm strong. I was gonna go with. There it is. The, we, we, the cartoon. No, anyway. the Canadian Mountie. The, the right. Dudley do right. You right? Want, Dudley do right? Sure. You want to go? Oh, wait. We have to rock, paper, scissors? Oh. No. Fuck. A duck. Oh, I kind of want to lose this one intentionally. Just one, two, three, toasting. shoot. Think. Got it. Take it. Joy. Here's to you, and here's to me, and if ever we should disagree, then to hell with you, and here's to no, me. No, come on. Oh. Off, off the top of your head. That's right. what the people... That was off the top of my head. That's... No, no. Off the top of It's your a very head. sharp point Create on the top of my Create head. Create it. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'm... May every whiskey you taste from this day forth be better than the best you've had so far. That's a hell of a toast to waste on a Canadian. Clink and say yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how about it? Or in the in Kevin Smith's voice. Yeah. 
Okay, super, 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 just whatever it is. All right, let's whatever. let's go. Let's just go, super whatever it let's is. Let's go fucking ethereal. <laughs> let's go super light. It's kind of coming across lemongrassy. If yeah. I want to, if I want to jump super fucking deep into the nose, lemongrass, but light brown sugar, but cinnamon, but not cinnamon sugar, cinnamon like you used to, mm. but not the butter toast because it doesn't have that much of the toast on the fucking it's bread. <laughs> you just eat like. It's there, a lot. It's overwhelming. A there's bit. nothing like really acerbic or or like assertive. Of, no, acerbic. Oh, okay. there's nothing acerbic or or offensive up front. But what's there is there. And it's I know that's real healthy. It's all poignant, but it, it's a lot of points, and they're all they're not all I mean, working there's some together. Citrus, there's some the baking spices are very aren't, aren't as Prevalent, They're so young and yeah, thank burnt you. and it's it's like it's like a week in a barrel. <laughs> it's it's underripe fruit overburned. Overworked, underbaked. <laughs> Call back that's to pretty serious. That's what it smells like. It smells like underripe tart fruit, overburned, like, over yeah, sugar. When you bite caramelized. into like a plum or something, it's not ripe. And it's got that... But you've put like a burnt caramel over the top of it. That's and it's got just all the wrong notes. And it's all the... It's so, all the extremes. It's none of the middle So crack. it's the B team in the kitchen is what you're saying. I would use this. I would use this. Oh, Okay, this is what I love to do. I love taking bad whiskeys and trying to figure right. out how I would fix them. All right, so I, take, so I take this. I take this, right? Okay. Put it in a pot with some sugar, just this and sugar, and I make it into a simple syrup. So I soften so out, not, not like not an agave simple syrup, but, but a whiskey simple syrup. I, I soften out all the harsh edges <laughs> with sugar, okay. obviously, castor sugar, uh, white sugar, right? White sugar and brown sugar and molasses. And then you just kind of make that glaze. And then you use that with the whiskey infusion because now it's muddled out. To just dark fruit, all right. kind of fruit essence. Are you flambéing it all to like burn it off? Or? No, that's time. T i m e, not t h y m e. It took time. me a second. <laughs> it's just slow caramelization, slow oh, cooking out the alcohol, oh. just reducing it down to the nice fruit notes, and that's it. Okay. Making that into a sugar, taking that into a glaze, and then putting that on top of a fruit cake that's going to have a thousand other flavors. I'm really trying to underutilize. Fruit cake would hide a lot of sugar. This. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to make this a star. Right. Well, if you could well, tell by my shall subtlety. We, uh, shall we dive in and see if the taste is any better? No, I don't want to. <laughs> Can we stop? This is a whiskey tasting. Not much better. Um, <coughs> medicinal. Yeah, medicinal. The first thing I jumped out was like... It tastes like medicine. Oh, oh, it's oh. It's the cherry. Oh, the finish. Yep. I literally just got chills. It's the cherry. It's a medicinal bad cherry sour tart note. And it just... Oh, we do this for you people. Wow. Canada. It's one note. It's one note, and, and it's, it's the not, wrong fucking it, note. It's not like a grain stone, where the, at least the one note is kind of pleasant until it just like you can deal with it. This is this is just a oh, minor second. I literally have tears in my eyes. Oh, I don't like it. That we did this for you. Thanks, people. guys. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh! Yep. Look. Oh, fucking look. Oh, there's more than. Oh, fuck yourselves. Yeah. You know what? For you patreons, if you. Buy in. The patrons. Patrons at Patreon? Yeah. Patrons at Patreon. That's really hard for me to say right now. For the patrons at Patreon. Hey, there you go. We're willing to patronize you. <laughs> patronize you. Don't you patronize me. Uh, and we're going to take all of the unfinished whiskeys. We're going to put them into an infinity bottle or a decanter right here. I thought you were going to say we're going to put them in a big glass and drink it. <laughs> but that's we're going to put them. We're going to put all the ones we don't like into a decanter to see oh if God. they work out. And then we're going to. At gonna, the end of the one year, one of us is going to lose a bet. <laughs> 
at the end of the year, we're both going to drink out of it. Yes. And then we'll fucking see where we're at. Our, our past We'll things. see if we subject anybody else to it. But also, I've heard tell, tell that Infinity Bottles a lot of times can, things can offset and, and you can end up with a better product at the and end. And that's the whole process of decanting. So when you decant something, you're, you're right. allowing that glass to sit on top of glass. Hopefully you have some kind of stopper. Glass on top. Oh, okay. Yeah. On the insert. Right, right. To the receiver. The male end. Oh, it's anatomy class. Birds and the bees, baby. The pistol and the stamen. To the female end, and it just and it and it nice. sits there um, until the alcohol evaporates out. It pushes the glass up, and then the oxygenation happens within the whiskey. It changes the complexity. It changes the way the oils interact, and then that's what you get out of an infinity bottle. Those are the benefits. I feel I should point out, not I once. Do want to thank. Brandon Sherry, friends from Phoenix, who gave me the gift bag of mystery. If you haven't seen that video, it's up here. Um, it was really nice of you. Not all of them have been hits. But some that's them, why you did it. So, some of them we've had before. And those and ones. they hurt. And some of them we had before and they were okay. And you know what? The hurt is a growing pain. Yes. And that infinity bottle is going to be us revisiting That infinity our bottle is going to be huge. It's going to be so full of growing pains. Yeah. So I hope a good thing comes out of it. Tell me. I'm what, really just at the core basis of an optimist. So what was the proof on that, Pendleton? Oh, not good. This is eighty proof. At least forty percent. That makes this forty yeah. percent. So same proof. Let's see what legacy does. They got a bird on a brand or bird on a barbed wire fence actually <laughs> oh joy <laughs> it's a super simple bottle mm-hmm do you then it's whiskey without an e thanks canada e. there's no e in canada there's no i in canada either that means there's no e in canada except in the french provinces Way. nice Bazinga. <laughs> Fuck you guys. That was a good joke. I know most of you are writing in the comments now that you hated that. You can go fuck yourselves. We Canada, French provinces. Oh, Canada. That, no, our no. home and native land. True patriot north. You're not even Canadian. I love hockey. Go fuck yourself. I can't. I would like to... I, Canada, if you would take me, I'm sorry for what I did here in the States. I'm sorry you <laughs> won't take me. I apologize. I didn't know it wouldn't mean I don't get to go see the Hockey Hall of Fame. I'm sorry. Please give me dual citizenship. I'm begging you. <laughs> My plead to Canada. This is going to make your clips channel. Canada, help me help you. Ooh. Uh, and your hockey teams. Could be worse. Could be John Green. What is this? Legacy? Yes. That's Good cool. fucking God. That's bright. It, very citrusy. Very. It, yes. It's. Right in the nose. It is. Like a like a warm, bright summer once, day in Montreal. Once again, Canada, you have taken good things and cranked them up to 11 and they don't All necessarily of the things belong to 11. There. Yeah, they don't necessarily need to be at 11. Um, that's pretty oily. That's, that's, it's like a felt tip marker. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, it's like, it's like a whiteboard, hmm. fat tip, dry erase mark. <sighs> it's actually not bad on taste. Sorry, I dove in without you, but. It's not good, but it's surprisingly, it's very, very citrusy, obviously. Um, it. Where are you going besides citrus? Um, malt, dusty, yeah, malty. Like a, a, a beer made of. There's a lot of funky shit going on. Hmm. So between the two, like chocolatey stuff. Here's the question: I, caramelly, caramelly. I can get chocolatey, like 
but like not milk chocolate. Would you say cocoa powder? Dutch processed? Definitely, I'd say about 80%. Like a more, like a more you're going to kind of want to put sugar in this. Ooh, we should almost. So like a bitter dark chocolate. Yeah. But like the real dark, for the real dark chocolate lovers. Rich, but bitter. Mm. You know what it reminds me of? This, you know, have you ever gotten like those chocolate orange a lot of people give give them in like Christmas stockings, and it's ch- chocolate, but it, it's got the orange flavoring in it. It reminds me of that. Like this would go probably good with that. I hope you catch. I hope you use the screen grab of my face as soon as you're like the chocolate, and I'm like, and and I'm nodding like the orange with the orange with the say the orange. If you don't say the orange, you said it. Okay, we're good with the orange. And like I immediately was like, it's okay, it's okay, come validated. On. Orange. <laughs> I'm like, I, so, I'm fucking, yeah. Here's the There's a getting. winter spicy orange. Yeah. Kind of like a Blue Moon beer. I was trying to remember to the it. beer. Blue Moon, because they got the orange. Definitely yes. Blue Moon with an orange peel, a little coriander, a little nutmeg, a little clove mm-hmm. for those of you that are interested in that kind of stuff. It's almost cloying, but it's not. Does that make any sense? It's almost what? Cloying in, in sweetness, but, but it's not. It's like just this side being oh. too sweet. Between the two, I would rather... It's tart. It, there's such a tartness to it. It's overpowering. Between sweetness. Pendleton and Legacy, I would drink the Legacy again over the Pendleton. If I had to choose between those two only. Very you know, young and brash, right? You know right? what I don't like? The you... mouth feel. The mouthfeel of the legacy, there's like a grittiness. Yeah. Oh, the and I'm not shivering at this one. This is not the alcohol vapor talking. This is just there's a sediment, rocky You know what this tastes like? Unfinished. This tastes like a hangover. Tastes like I'm gonna have a bad time tomorrow morning. Right? Like a sugary sweetness. Yeah. Like a like a like a not good wine. Ooh. I mean, I don't drink wine, like so... A, oh, okay. Uh, like a uh, like a too sweet Pinot Gris. Or like a, like a overly ripe Moscato. A little okay. tart. Like okay. a little too tart, but definitely over sugar. Okay. Well, so, um, I have one last thing. Ooh, do we have a wild card entry in this Canadian little battle? No, we don't. What we have is a glass bottle. Ooh. And the glass bottle is something that if you can record it right now, Josh's eyes are following it back and forth and I'm staring dead into the camera because he is fucking terrified. No, it's your place. I don't if you drop it, that's so what we have here is Cutty Shark blended scotch. Cutty Sark? Cutty Shark? Cutty s- Cutty Sark. Because, to quote my good friend, I am uh, always right! So, in the bag, of, in the gift bag of mystery, this was one of two where we immediately It was a down. bag of mystery. Yes. I don't know if all of it was a gift. gift. Right. Well, I looked down and I was like, oh, I know what this is, right off the top. I had, I know I must have had Cuddy Sark at some point in my life. I'm 48 years old. At some point, I'm sure I tasted it. But I couldn't tell you a damn thing about it. So we will rectify. Um, so really, instead of Canadian, this is more of a UK little jaunt. Because this is bottled by by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, Wine and Spirit Merchants, Berry Brothers and Rudd LTD. Oh, limited. Limited, yes, thank you. Product of Scotland. And remember, if it's nay Scottish, it's crap. It's made once. What? If it's made Scottish, it's made once. Okay. That doesn't seem I haven't heard any that kind of, If it's made Scottish, it's made once. I ain't heard that before. If it's made American, it's made once. I haven't heard that. It's, it's made. It's done once. It doesn't mean it's good. It's just it, they finished. Um, okay. <laughs> Glass bottle, though. The Cutty Sark with the glass bottle is kind of pulling in. 
I gotta say, it it's a, feels, also a thick. It, it is a thick boy. It, it's chunky. It's got some heft. Um, hefty, hefty, hefty. Before we dip into this real quick, quick side, quick little housekeeping. Before you dip this bottle over, because it's yeah. gonna take well, out that as, glass. As he it's gonna hurt it. As he as he gives me a little tip. Get the fuck out. The bottle weighs more than the glass. He, he's not wrong. <laughs> it is so heavy. Real quick though, if you, by the way. If you'd like to hear us kind of ramble, ramble and Rant. talk and, and drink in an audio podcast version, we We're actually have a, new, we have a new podcast for patrons only on the Patreon page. Link is, you know, down there. Um, it's in called the description below. <clears throat> Two Brains, One Bottle, where we share a bottle and we talk about whatever we talk about. <clears throat> First one, we covered all sorts of stuff. Talked about Estelle Getty and the Golden Girls. Talked about what else did we talked about? Jehovah's Witnesses. We talked about hockey. We talked about wrestling. We talked right. about politics. We talked about therapy. We talked about the good. We talked about the bad. We talked about embracing both the good and the bad. Talked about the ugly. Ta oh man, we definitely <laughs> so, talked about my face. Two beers, one brain is or, two, <laughs> two two brains, brains one, one bottle. Two brains, one bottle is. The man Basically. changed his branding today. <laughs> two, two I am <laughs> not functioning well, and I'm still getting the cues. So two brands, one bottle is basically us completely unfiltered. Uh, the tagline is no editing required. Basically, that's the premise. That that was the. There's so gonna be editing. That was the brief. I know. But um, if you're interested, Look, every time check there's out gonna be editing. Yep. But if you're interested, uh, it'll help out the channel, but also you'll get qual quality. You'll get content that's specifically just for patrons. Like I say with my dad jokes, it's not about the quality. It's about the quantity. You're going to get a lot of it, but none of it's going to be good. Wait, no, that's not. That's, not that's exactly going. what my dad meant. Don't you argue. <laughs> hey, I know what that's, I'm that's saying. Not, that's not what we're going for here. Oh, we, we want, that's what I'm going for. Are we on different pages about, of different books? About 40% quality, would you say? Can we do a 60-40 split? That way I end up net positive. 40% quality, 60% BS. Quantity. Quantity over quality. 60% quantity. Actually, I like that. 40% quality. Two brains, one bottle, about 40% quality. There's, there's 60, a tagline. 60% quantity. Definitely more quantity over quality. Yeah, that way it all works out. You know oh. what? My whole life ties... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not doing a water Behind review. the scenes. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intake water. Oh my. Jesus, what a faux pas on oh my, my pot. Oh my. Prepare yourself, A faux pas? Yes. The queen. A faux pas. I can see why the queen chose them. Oh my. Well, your, your turn for toastage, I believe. Or is it my turn? My turn. Oh, your turn. I haven't given one. You gave the first one. You did. Rewind the tape. Every whiskey you taste from this day forth. But he didn't give a toast. Oh man. This is such a different direction. Oh no. He's smiling. Bad as a cream, bad as a cream. I'm a little boy that loves bad as a cream. <laughs> That's what it smells like is berries and cream. Yep. But there's it something is, else. There's something else that's nice covering it. If you've ever seen a very posh presentation of berries and cream, homemade heavy cream, extra whipped, extra heavy, extra set, all stiff peaks with emaciated cherries and berries, creamed together, mushed, slightly muddled, and then a sprig of mint on the top. But you know, that is the thing over top that you're getting. That's the mint. Yeah, I was like, there's this. There's a finish. Thing. There's a finish to that. You know what it was? Quality. The mint was tricky. Was triggering like mojito or something. It was triggering this other drink thing. Sugary, and I and I would, didn't want to go the boozy route. I wanted to stay away from the <laughs> booze. It is. Did you get shortbread. No, no shortbread. No, no cookie. No bready notes. Just. Brighter, kind of green apple-y, figgy, 
cranberry, mm. young, young fruits. Green grapes, not okay. red grapes. Malby toast? I did. I said berries and cream. That was your toast? Well, clink me, motherfucker. Can we rewind the tape, please? No. Okay. Clink me. I'm sorry I didn't give you my best, but I gave you my best at the time I could. Good note. Incidentally, let us know in the comments, what's your take on Cuddy Sark or Pendleton or Legacy? You getting anything different than us? Because it's, it is a... Uh, Flat. You're in, a, in almost, I would say almost a letdown way, but compared well, to the whiskeys we've actually, had tonight. It's pulling a grain stone in that there was something and then it... it immediately. Right. Oh, I just jostled it and got myself great. This is what happens when you light things on your face. Light things? Like things on oh. your face? Face hugger? <laughs> I was like, I don't want to like light things on my face right now. <laughs> no, you don't have the control. Uh, anywho. Cuddy Sarg, best one of the three. Definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely went from wild card to underdog to fan favorite. Of these three. The legacy second place but was there. Only because the Pendleton is worse. Like it's second by default. Right? Pen Pendleton is disappointing in a multitude of areas. You could have done so much more. And with not a whole hell of a lot. Of effort, yeah. Like, it was, it, it wasn't necessarily close, but it was close to the legacy. Just the legacy and the Cuddy Sark are like, and maybe that's the thing. Cuddy Sark has so much backing that they can afford to do glass bottles with their minis. Maybe they're not on the same level. Maybe we're overvaluing the Cuddy Sark. I don't know. Chime in in the comments down below. Let us know. Let us Please. have a discussion. We're open minded. We don't know. Yeah. We're just trying to start a community that's open, not a community that's right. You know what I get now that it's been open a bit? You're going to think me weird. Er. <laughs> a apricot pit still in the apricot. Does that make sense? It's like I'm smelling the pit. I'm getting a little bit of apricot on the edge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that note. Okay. I'm going to dive just one, one second deeper. The earthiness of the pit. Right. Earthiness, that was the word. But there is that background of sweetness, but when you're paying attention to the pit, the earthiness overrides it. There's, there's a dominance to that 60-40 split, and it's not sweetness to earthiness. It's earthiness to sweetness. Mm. Okay. okay. Shall we dive in? Dive in. We already drank. Did you? I missed. I, I, we I we drank. drank. We toasted. Here's the I rewinded missed. clip of the rewinded clip. I, and now back to the original. So sorry. Goddamn Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the taste of that. I enjoyed the smell better than I did the taste. Disappointing. But uh, that's. That's the beauty. No, of them. no. you're enjoying no. it more. I still, I still Ooh. like the cutty. Yeah, you get, yeah, you get peat pe or a little smokiness. No, what, what I, I get, get, what I get out of the cutty is the chocolatey. I mean, there's a the little bit earthy, of earthy, malty. There's definitely a, a a barley like a. You get that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a little iodine. It's cutty sark. It's from the sea, a little bit. But I'm okay with that. The, right. It's it's like a it's dark a chocolate finished with sea salt and it brings out all the nice You know what? I, I retract my earlier statement. I'm into it. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's growing on me. This I could see sitting in a glass listening to some live music and just being like but with a couple, you know, a couple couple ice rocks. rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocks. This definitely would I Cody I think Sark like, takes the cake. Takes the cake? Yeah, Cody Sark takes the cake over these last three. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Yeah. 
Yeah, Kenny Stark's. Kenny Stark could be a nice, a nice daily drinker, much like the the Glen Murray, which at some point we should do a Glen Murray. I've I've reviewed the Glen Murray, all the expressions. Not all the expressions. If you're a, a patron of the Patreon page, hey, maybe. Just maybe you should throw a, a donation, one-time donation, into the potluck to us being able to try a multitude of things here and record them. If you're into the content, if you're enjoying, if you're having a good time. Right. Same goes if you want to support the channel. You can. There's links down there. You can buy some merch at Room Six Shop. You can buy one of my CDs. You can comment down below. You can share the video for nothing. That is true. It's free. Um, so yeah, I think we've we've established our pecking order. Cuddy Sark, Legacy by default, and then Pendleton. Uh once again, I this is this is the end of the bag of mystery uh whiskey videos. I do want to thank Sherry and Rand. Thank you very much. It was a really thoughtful gift. You knew that I needed I wanted content and you gave it to me. Oh boy. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, by all means, click up here because that'll take you to you know the reviews. If you haven't subscribed, Hey, what are you waiting for? Click down here and ring the bell. You'll get notified of new videos. Um, please, please feel free to comment. Let us know. Engage. Um, other than that, remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time in room six. You got anything to say? Have a good rest of your weekend. A good rest of your day. A good rest of your evening. A good rest of your afternoon. Wherever you're at in life, I just hope that from the end of this video to the start of you thinking about it, that things get better. Because it can always get better. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I wanted you to do that so bad. <laughs> I was like, I'm I'm not gonna say it. I'll take it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beg. <laughs> <laughs>